Hello, Jeremy here for Common Collected. John Hammond was the fifth human in the Legacy Collection, following Grant, Muldoon, Ellie, and Malcolm. Our first John Hammond was initially introduced in June of 2019 as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that sold at the con and was $15. It was followed by a brief release on Entertainment Earth for $25. Fans wondered if a wider release would eventually follow, and it did, with the Isla Nublar escape set in July of 2020. With the repackage that includes Hammond and Ellie, all five of these figures have been released twice. The SDCC version comes with a unique box of the Jurassic Park gates. Inside is the actual carded figure. Because they doubled the artwork on the inside of the box, I chose to tape mine flipped inside out as a display piece. John Hammond comes with two accessories, his cane with the mosquito and amber on the top, and a velociraptor egg nest on a pedestal with a baby velociraptor hatchling which is exclusive to the SDCC set. Both versions do come with a cane. The mosquito is a deco print that's applied. You can see one of mine was printed better than the other, but I believe that's just luck. My figures were only just opened and photographed, and you can already see where the paint is scratching away. I wish they would have found a way to mold the staff itself in the desired color plastic and attach the amber topper somehow instead, like many of the figures that have their hair or hat glued on. The printing technique that's on the human faces, if you look very close, you can actually tell it's made up of ink or paint dots of different colors. Much like the way your television picture is made up of red, blue, and green dots, that when viewed from a natural distance, blur together to create a blended image. In the figure's face, it depicts a subtle realism and a shading that's improved over traditional hand painting of facial features. However, the success of the application has been hampered with quality control issues across the line, with many of the figures having faces painted slightly off of registration, so lips and eyes appear too low or high on the face. This was most apparent with Zia and Malcolm. Zia being common with her glasses painted and misaligned. With all of these humans, it's a good idea to pick one out of the store where you can compare the quality of several figures, or purchase from a retailer with pictures of the exact one you're buying, or at least have a good return policy. The packing on the SDCC Hammond makes that impossible, so you'll be rolling the dice with the quality of the face painting unless you buy an opened or used item. John Hammond's glasses, like Malcolm's, are removable. I would almost prefer they be glued on. Kids will certainly lose them, even as an adult collector, good luck finding them if you drop them on your carpet. The digital printing technique has also been extended to the front of his jacket, it's faintly visible. Now here's where we have another change with the repackaged version. On the SDCC version, you'll also find it has a shading slash soil on his hat brim and on his pants below his knees. The printing has been removed on the Isla Nublar version. I'm not in love with the soiled look on his pants, so in that way, I kind of prefer the newer version. Perhaps it wasn't so much a way to cheap out on the repackage, but an improvement, because it just wasn't all that effective in the first place. There's a couple other things I like about the John Hammond figure that make it in some ways better than the previous ones. One is how the sleeves on his upper arms are entirely molded out of white plastic, whereas his forearms are his skin tone colored plastic. So you don't have that weird painted elbow like you do on Malcolm's figure. Another nice benefit of Hammond's wardrobe is actually how his shirt extends to cover his waist. A lot of the other figures with the extra articulation have this sort of diaper look, which is covered with John Hammond's shirt. The Isla Nublar set is still on shelves at Target for $30. You can probably take advantage of a sale or a coupon and get it for even less. eBay prices for the SDCC John Hammond have fluctuated and have recently fell to around $50. So let's weigh it out. The San Diego Comic-Con exclusive John Hammond comes with the Raptor Egg Nest, which you can only get in that set. However, the Isla Nublar set, his pants aren't dirty, he also comes with an Ellie, two Raptors, the banner, you can see the quality of the face painting before you buy, and it's $20 less. So what do you think? Should you skip the SDCC one at this point? Or do you want both? Please tell us in the comments which figures you wish Mattel would make next. Well, thanks for watching Common Collected. We'll see you in the next video.